Hello, uh, welcome back to Living Under the Rock. Uh, I'm joined by um, Hannah, as always. Uh, I have a guest for the first time, um, which is Bailey Lowe. Hello. Yeah, I do. Hello. Um, so he's going to join us in today's episode. We're hoping to do more guest episodes uh, in the future. In the future. Um, but yeah, he's the first. I'm happy. And so we, we're, we're excited. Uh, this can go either way. Yes, uh, it could. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to talk about some interesting topics with Black Adam, uh, NFTs, and you know, if time, maybe some SpongeBob stuff. Uh, but that's in, that's yeah. well, that's down the line. So um, I mean, yeah, uh, let's we get here yeah. because he's a specialist. Mm-hmm. Yes. In topics and yeah, he, he'll he'll be able to help us clarify stuff. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, okay. Um, so you are, I guess. Yeah. The first topic is uh, basically we're going to be talking about the uh, timeline of Black Adam, uh, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, DC movie that's coming out yeah, yeah. in like 2021, I think July around that around that time, yeah. um, and just the development of it because from the moment he he's been cast um, and some rumors and all that stuff to now uh, them actually shooting, it was quite a journey, mm. um, quite a long journey for them to get to where they are right now, and so it's just. It was just a really long time, and we just going to like explain it to you guys, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, do you guys do you want to start us? Uh, uh, you start, know. What? Yeah, start us off with Black Anime. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. I want to keep this. Get, <laughs> get, get your flu shot. I want to keep that get in. your flu shot. Kill it. Kill Fire. it. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, wow. Damn, oh. <laughs> I wonder how it's going to turn on the camera, dude. <laughs> oh, God. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. This is going to be fun. Uh, yeah. Get us in there. Well, Black Adam is a... It's a... It's a superhero franchise okay. from uh, makers of DC. And it's been cast... I think Dwayne's been casting it since 2014. Uh. And he's... It's gone through a lot of script writing, a lot of information being pulled from it. I know the basis of the story. It's about uh, Black Adam's a character who wants uh, good in the society that he was living in and wanted to show power. So he was fighting for that power, but then he got too much power and it overcame him. And yeah, it became a villain. And he's off the series of Shazam, which is an amazing movie. Oh, yeah, I watched it. Outstanding I movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Second one's coming out, by the way. Yeah, that days. comes out before Fury Black Adam does. And guess who's in it? Guess who's in it? Who? God. Wait, what's his God? name? God? Um, no, no, no. no. no it's, Damn. It's, it's, oh, God. Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Hold on. The, the, Sinbad is in it. Sinbad. Sinbad? Oh, Sinbad's in it. He's like a stand-up slash like a musician, man. When does that come out? That comes out. It's 2023. Oh, that comes out. Dude, that's, now, but that's on your birthday. Oh, my God. I'll be 18. <laughs> Oh, oh that's, I'll bastard. be 18. Oh, uh, God. Um, but, yeah. So, in 24... <laughs> in 2014. <laughs> no, so, yeah, in 2014. Uh, basically, what happened was, in 2007, now, this is, you know, partially dates back all the 2007, yeah. um, there was rumors that uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who was then known as, like, a WWE wrestler, was going to be uh, cast as, like, Shazam, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Uh, um, potentially playing Black Adam. Yeah. Potential. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Potential. Oh, no, no, no. He, I, but he, he seemed to be, had a chance. Yeah. He had a, a chance, chance to play Shazam. Play, but yeah. nothing was like set or anything. It was just talks, yeah, right? Rumors. Like, yeah. It was but a then, bit up in the air. 2014, um, the news broke that uh, he would be portraying Black Adam okay. in, yeah. uh, in a DC movie. There, there wasn't specific what DC movie. Um, and in twenty, yeah. yeah, and then yeah. you know, along, and then in twenty fourteen again, that's when the Snyderverse was coming out, and that's when mm. they were all prepping their list basically of uh, films, and um, that was scheduled, you know, to release. Some uh, were aligned in twenty nineteen, and now again, I just want to reaffirm, this was like going to be a Shazam movie, not a Black Adam movie, yeah. because if we jump back um, to around twenty seventeen. Uh, that's when it got announced that uh, Black Adam would be getting his own solo movie. Yeah. There's lots of um, plans and rumors that he would actually have a cameo in uh, Shazam, but okay. that was not the case. Uh, DC, Warner Brothers, New Line, uh, they all decided, and even The Rock himself, they all decided that it would be just be better to have yeah. a solo film well, to build off the um, Justice Society and turn that on me. I think with, especially with the Black Adam movie, 
uh, The Rock. Yeah. He is the perfect fit for the movie. He has that kind of physique of the a, build, a yeah, he has sure. a physique of a demigod. He has yeah. That, yeah. He has that he like in real life, like yeah, he's a he's a hero. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He has the build of a But like you're just yeah. supposedly like with the suit, they're not like it's literally not gonna be like any padding. It's, yeah. It's like just a pure like sculpture. I just wanna see hands. Yeah, I wanna yeah. see if they introduce Shazam into Black Adam. Oh it's gonna be kind of like It would be like an old yeah. Shazam though, because not the Zach really because uh, yeah. the the it's set like oh, years, years, years in the yeah, past. Yeah, the thing, yeah, they could do that, but they could easily switch it to be like, oh, it's there's some portions that are set way back, yeah. and, and they could easily present? like somehow he gets then he gets teleported, oh, like wait. it starts off in the back, and like wait, he's wait. in the future. Wait, no, 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 2017, January 19, Black Adam's getting his mm. own movie. News breaks that before we see the character face off with Shazam. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be his yeah. like. So it's kind of his story yeah, exactly. arc explaining him as a character. But then they uh, did uh, oh, I forgot who the villain is in the first one, but Mark Strong's villain. Yeah, because I think Savannah. I'm pretty sure they could easily do Black Adam movie, uh, yeah. like explaining his background and everything. But then yeah, kind yeah. of uh, with the character of Billy Benson and Shazam. Like, yeah. Um, but I feel like it would be like because uh, the kid doesn't know anything about Shazam. He yeah. knows, but I think it will be a couple years in the future that the they will fight. But I think the Black Adam movie it will have some thought uh, like an end credit scene where he's somehow in the future. He's like been fighting. He's like somehow yeah, made it to the future, and then he's all about. He's uh, and then Billy Benson's trying to find out who this character is, but then Black Adam's character has this whole thing of like, mm. "Oh, you did this to me, you did this to me," and it's like it'd be an old Shazam, maybe in Black Adam, like you said. Yeah. But they are what do you call it? Just before we, they are going to be introducing the Justice Society, which is like the original Justice League. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was Justice Society, then the Justice, Justice League. League. Yeah. So they're going to be introducing that, and what I've heard is they're going to be um. They're gonna be uh, hopefully going to be pursuing uh, like other little like spin-off series, mm. series, series, got series yeah. from, and movies from that, and maybe be on HBO Max and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. No, it's an interesting topic. Um, yeah, it, it's from when it got announced, and it's been what like from now it's been like eight years or something like mm. that it's just from now for them to be actually prepping it's well, just a big milestone you know what i mean he the rock has legit been able to make a body tutorial on how to be black adam he's oh, really? he's done that where he's i think i think he made it like yeah, a can, workout regime that. how to be black adam like he had yeah. a like how he would build black adam's character mm. and it's like going to death like He's a character that's all powerful and might, yeah. and really giving that physique of you can destroy anything that's in your path Full is really hundred percent. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Um, I'm surprised because they said they would have COVID. Uh, they had COVID restrictions with filming, mm. and yet they still managed. They're still managing to release it earlier. Well, I think oh. that's that's based on like. It was, wait, well, I thought it was December 2020. Yeah, it was, it was, it was 2021. July. Well, I don't. I Whoa. think that we can't go off that like 100. percent But I. Black Adam in 2019 was meant to be released 2020. Yeah. 2021. Well, I think the way they can easily do that is with the way they use the camera. The way they use the camera shots to make it seem like it might be restrictions, but they could easily use it oh. to. I think they fit. I, I just think maybe because since it's been developed for this long, maybe maybe just they've prepped so much yeah. to the extent where they're ready to do anything. You know what I mean? Because well, they could um, already easily was, have stuff filmed. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're shooting it right now. Yeah, like it was originally gonna hit the same date as Avatar two, so maybe that's why because mm. it's like Avatar two. Aren't they both but, Warner Brothers? Uh, no, that's uh, I think. Ooh, there's been a not Sony. That might be, I think, yeah. either Paramount. Well, or there's Universal. there's been a lot of like DC, oh, like with movies. They've been a lot of delayed. Oh, 20th Century Fox. Sorry, they've been uh, my bad. They've been a lot of delayed in movies. Like the Batman was yeah. supposed to come out this June, but then yeah, Dune's dude. overtaken that and done that. And so it's like it depends on how it depends on like that that hurts the fans, but that also like loves for the Dune oh, for sure. the Dune fans. So it's like how do you fit to the audiences of how many people like Black Adam, how many people want Dune, how many people want the Batman, how many people like you got to see where their marketing strategy is coming the same from. Time, it is like a summer blockbuster as well. Yeah, yeah. Points, but in a, so yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so 
that's uh, whatever your thoughts are. Uh, if if you go to the hailing page, actually, there's like a comment section there. So please um, yeah. let, yeah. let you know your, your thoughts, thoughts anything like that. And um, so okay. yeah, it's a pre- it's interesting subject to just see the timeline of it, and it, it's um it's just good to see that they're filming, and then it's going to yeah. be ready to um have an early release. Step. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, but um, look, other news uh, is uh, NFTs. Uh, they've been uh, kind of like uh, sweeping um, the internet, uh, social media, mm-hmm. I would assume, with buy. It's like the new way of purchasing art pieces from artists. Yeah. Um, it's, it's quite interesting, actually, because it's everything it feels like is just moving towards like technology internet you oh, know, like 100%. less physical physical like media you know what i mean stuff. yeah like because you got now we've got streaming services we don't need dvds yeah all that yeah type of stuff. it's so, you, it's like the yeah. thing it's uh our generation now especially with covid and everything mm-hmm. our generation is going into a hit of do we need cash do we need to be, do we need to be in stores to buy things? Can yeah. we just go online to, oh, like, oh, there's this thing. To make the world more convenient. And it's a lot of the, a lot of the time stuff online is like, it's more expensive, but a lot of the time, some of it's you cheaper. Just want it. yeah. You can get like stuff off brand for cheaper from the new one. I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. It's like a token kind mm. of in a way. Mm. Is it like a non-fundable? Yeah. Or something it, like that? It's, when you own the original version of something, okay. even if it's like around everywhere. So yeah. There's a video out there on YouTube. It's really mm. old. It's called Charlie Bit My Finger. Have you guys seen uh, it? Yes, no, I, I have. Think I, yeah. It might so be back. basically, the parents are selling it. Are selling the original video itself. Really? Yeah. No, like not physically. But just video. Just this. Yeah, they're selling the, the video. For like mm. I don't know how much. So like a couple hundred thousand. It. it yeah. That's crazy. People, some people are alright with it. Like, oh yeah, fine. It's yeah. Investments and that. Some people are really sad because like it's taking culture of like memes and stuff i mean there's been a lot of that has been getting sold and, it's um, yeah. more than just like our pieces yeah it's it's, it's like meaning. there's well, also like a video of two children fighting i think oh so yeah it's a video it's like of a, a guy lot of our, like it's a lot of other factors that get poured into this so it's yeah. just not like oh yeah. okay it's like That's people on just it's like people on uh like tiktok you can have videos on there yep. for ages but then as soon as someone um uh like someone has a, pr- a product that they yeah. like they, they first got from a youtuber mm-hmm. back in 2010 get, they yeah. s- they there's but there's still a bunch of them but the first one that ever got sold yeah, that's, they can easily sell that or I see what it's like mean, yeah. there's like signatures from youtubers or celebrities you can have multiple yeah. of them but if there's one signed by uh, the rock yeah I see where it's coming from. It's just like having that original copy. Like, sure, people, people like in the last week, they've been re-uploading that video so many times with YouTube. Really? Mm. Yeah. But there's no meaning into that because, like, at the end, you're gonna have the original version. I see. You can say like, "Oh yeah, I have that." It's like buying an actual piece yeah. of artwork. Well, I think you people also have take to photos of it and yeah, yeah like take photos, these certain yeah, stuff. But if you actually have it, you it's can val- it it's, more it's more valuable. It's like um, like we're talking about this, but then the, it's been going on for ages with comics True. for a stand. With it's digital comics, like, and di- the digital com- They have digital comics, but yeah. it's something about like having that, having that original copy, and knowing this was the first one ever made, yeah. physical copy. Like wow, you can get it for free online, but having yeah. have, having like you, you get that bit of a like oh a little like oh I have this. Uh, you have this. No, it's I, like, see, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because it's like, uh, uh, like I know personally for myself, I like physical stuff more than just yeah. online. That's that's the that's thing. Why yeah, because like I, I get movies and stuff, and it's like, well, I, it just um, well, for some reason it just makes me feel better about myself. That like, it's just it's, physically there. It's physically there. there forever. Yeah, yeah like, see, I see like what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it's also like the the crazy prizes that got like mm-hmm. the first ever Spider Man cop- yeah. comic is worth three point. Seven mil, Hazel. and it's like, how do you get that much money? Like, how? Why would you spend oh. that much money? And but then you realize, yeah, you have a physical copy of something that yeah. you love, and then that's someone that you're like, oh, wow. oh, hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent, man. And there's people out there that have that amount of money that are willing to spend that, spend it, yeah. And it's then like, some it's like cars, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, 
people will spend it on Ferrari, but then other people spend it on a comic. And, and it's, it's like people make different, like, but it's a car. And that's but they're but worth it's like, the same price. But, yeah, it's, but it's like, like, that's a comic. So you yeah. have your car, I have opinions. my comic. It's just opinions on how people feel, yeah. really. And it's, it's the future of art. The future, it's yeah. the future, yeah. It's how the world's changing, really. And I think yeah. a lot of people, like, with online stuff if you buy the stuff online you're more likely to get scammed out of it i see what you mean so that's why auctions are a good thing yeah no i get what you mean by that yeah oh like with the whole thing deal with cryptocurrency that's a whole nothing the whole digital the whole digital world right Mm. yeah it's a lot it's a mess yeah what do you think in the future 20 years when like nfts become an actual thing it's not like buying it it's not like buying really expensive stuff just like buying anything Ranging from like $20 to like $2. Uh, see what you mean. Yeah. Would you buy an NFT? Oh, it depends on the price, honestly. Yeah. If it's reasonable, I could possibly go for it. But if it's, I don't know, an astonishing price and like it's, it, it's a, like there's a, if it's something you want, like if I had, if there's an NFT yeah. of like, oh, Luke Skywalker's first ever lightsaber that was selling for 2.3 mil. I would probably go for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's because something I've grown up with. And, but it's also like, oh, it's the Avengers stuff. A lot of the Avengers stuff like that, Captain America's shield was yeah. signed by the whole cast. That ups the value for it. It's yeah, like, for sure. It depends on the product. It's just, it's just per, it's a, it depends on the product personal and personal thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 100%. And also just if you're rich or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a big thing if you're rich or not. Yeah. Yeah, but like, let's say like you want to buy a profile picture. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like you just want to have a piece of artwork that you want to use a profile picture. Yeah, you can have like the original version of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And like in a way, People could see that. Like, let's say your Instagram profile picture. Yeah. Let's say you're an NFT owner of that picture. Yeah. You you bought that picture for like twenty dollars. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. That's in the future. Mm-hmm. It's like, would it really make sense in a way? Like, because like, oh, yeah, you have that show, but how are you gonna flex that? You're not gonna like show them you holding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like download it for free online. No, but um, NFTs. It's an interesting um topic with opinion preference. Um, and prices, it's just how the world's changing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but right now it's just early stages. It's early stages. They've been around for 20, since 2014. Yeah. Well, well yeah, right sure. now it's just them building up. Yeah. I guess time will tell. Yeah, time yeah. will tell. Time will if you have any thoughts, put them in the comments in the Hailink page. I um, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so that's going to be the last final topic of uh, today's episode. Thanks for um, watching. Thanks for watching so much. We appreciate it. Even those people in America. America, um, wow. Dude, yeah. we don't know how that happened, but it just <laughs> happened. Yeah. Kind of happened. So, yeah. Let let us people know, out there, yeah. yeah. let us know what you, what you yeah. think of the, which, let us know what you think of the, the whole rock black Adam scenario. Yeah, please do. Um, please do. And about NFTs, like, are you interested in them? Would you ever buy them and that stuff? Like, is it meant a lot to you? Um, yeah, you can let us know all of that in our hailing in the description. Just like, yeah, just put your name or whatever and just type your comment. Um, and again, thank you. Man. Yeah, thanks, man. I it played really my pleasure. It. Uh, it was really fun. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Please tune in um, whenever the next episode arrives, hopefully in two weeks' time. Yes. Um, tune in for that because, you know, we really appre- appreciate uh, the people who do tune in. It means a lot um, to us and the people are a lot to us and even the people who message us, it means a lot to us as well. It just shows um, that there's a, a, a growing audience as a community. Yeah. It shows us what you guys want. And also in the hailing page, if you guys want any topics or anything like that, um, or please do just out. type it in there and we will give you like a shout out and I'll talk about that. But um, on that note, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys we'll later. See Bye. Bye. Oh, no, we just kind of like walk out. It's just kind of at this, uh, at this point right now. Yes, what, yeah.